Happy feast of Blessed Mother Enriqueta to you all. On behalf of all the sisters and Lhasa members of Southern India. On this special day of the birthday of Blessed Mother Enriqueta in heaven, which we the sisters of St. Anne celebrate as her feast day, I would like to recall all the important dates in her life and some of the important quotations which she has written. October 10, 1829. Catherine Dominici is born at Borgo Salsacio of Giuseppe and Anna Pipino. October 11, 1829, Baptist Communion. March 26, 1839, First Communion given her by the parish priest, her uncle Don Andrea Pipino. June 11, 1814, Sacrament of Confirmation. November 19, 1850. She enters the Institute of Sisters of St. Anne. July 27, 1851. She receives the religious habit and takes the name of Sister Enriqueta. July 27, 1853. Religious profession. October 4, 1854. She is transferred to Castel Fidardo. February 1857, she substitutes for eight months the spirit of the house at Castle Pirado. June 23, 1858, she returns to St. Anne's, the mother house, duty and is appointed novice mistress. July 1, 1861, the congregation of bishops and regulars approves and confirms the election of Sister Enriqueta as superior general. November 1865, she chooses Don Palermo as her spiritual director. July 1867, she was re-elected Mother General for second six-year period. October 1879, she leaves for Salinabad, India to visit the Institute's for first missionary house. July 14, 1885, Mother Indicator is received in audience by Pope Leo XIII. February 21, 1894, Mother Enriqueta's death in curing from cancer of the breast at the age of 65. A docile instrument in the hands of the divine artificer and accept his using you or leaving you aside as he pleases. Do what you can in your work and have the firm faith that God will do the rest. God, God, God alone, alone and his holy will in everything and always. Nothing that more distresses my heart than to see others distressed. And I should like, if it were possible, to take all, all their sufferings and distress upon myself. Tribulation is a fire that mortifies, purifies and sanctifies. Let it therefore burn up, for that is displeasing to God. God, there is never any danger of loving too much. Love Him very greatly, not only ideally, but with work. Go forward with holy simplicity, dearest daughter, because the Lord does not want anything else from you. I 
wish I could penetrate in the remote parts of the world to let know all human creatures how great, immense, infinite is the ever eternal bounty of God. Little deeds done with great love are worth far more than human actions done with human aids. If you permit me, to ask you a favor, it is precisely this, to do your best, to grow more and more in this union of hearts, sustaining one another mutually, charitably, excusing the intention when you cannot excuse the action. We must make ourselves truly great, great hearted, otherwise we shall never do anything